All right, so I wanted, I got a lot of questions the other day about how to do um, beach waves on shorter hair. I just cut my hair, Tawny cut it, I mean, and um, she's gonna show, this is kinda, I did it, but it slept on and it's kinda dirty, so she's gonna do it and um, show how the, the master of beach waves. Wow, happy to be here on the sidelines. <laughs> First, we are going to Why do... can't you show your face, Tommy? Because <laughs> I just got a facial. It's fine. It's here to help. <laughs> We're going to do dry shampoo. Oh, there we go, Ellie. This one is by Living Proof. Wow, lots of hands. <laughs> We're going to kind of come in here, do a little suctioning. Have we talked about my gray hair before? I don't know. Let's talk about it. I have a lot of gray hair and um, it's really just been available <laughs> been in, my, in my life for um, since I was like 22. Really? That long? Yes. But I have found a spray of uh, brown stuff that covers my grays. Oh, I just thought we that? should have used that. that. The yeah, L'Oreal. I'm, I'm gonna but, get it. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful with dry shampoo that it leaves like a white film on your dark hair. So this is a yeah. good one. I actually really like that. This is the one Jennifer Aniston's the face of it, or she was. I'm gonna do a little serum on your ends. Here, little finish. serum. This is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. It smells so good. And then this is the stuff I use for my gray hairs. It's the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. And I've tried different things and they're all kind of expensive and this is pretty, it's like seven bucks or something. So don't quote me on that, but okay. it's cheap. And when you have it shorter, you kind of like to wear it where it is, like on the side, right? You know, when you do it, I like it down the middle or to the side, oh. but... Should we just not? try and swap it? Yeah, let's just Wait, do it. Wait, where's the little creaseless clips I gave you? Oh, they're in my... Where'd you put my backpack? I didn't put it anywhere, but I couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. Are they there? And they weren't in there? Mm-mm. In the top drawer. Oh, the... No, I don't think so. <sighs> Okay, took a brief pause to gather all of our things together. Now we're ready to begin. So, what do you put the creases, the creases? We're gonna, we're gonna use my, my pinky here. I we're gonna switch comb. you to a middle part. I thought you liked wearing it to the side, but since you want to do. But that, I always, even if I wear it to the side, I always start, start in, the middle. in the middle. Okay, so. Let's show where my natural hair is. Yeah. These? Well, those are a little shorter naturals. on the hairline. Oh. Let's get, maybe let's get in here. That's real? This. Right. Yeah, this one okay. is. Okay. So, I don't know. It's the same. Easy. Oh, my natural the hair same now. <laughs> is the same length. But, um, this is, all of this is in here for added fullness, even though my hair is quite yeah, thick. You really don't need them when it's this, it's like separation anxiety when they're Yeah. Okay, so because we just switched your part, we're gonna start in here. This is the one and a quarter inch single pass T3 iron. And we are gonna take these little creaseless clips here. Where do you get those? Yeah. These um these ones are actually by I think it's my kish or something. Oh yeah. They're and they're really cute, the rose gold ones. Um let me show you. This is what they look like. Oh, and these are very ones. specific, this type of clip for the creaselessness. Because I've tried to buy my own. They're and... flat, they so they're they don't have like a curve in them, so they won't leave like a dent in the hair. So this is really good for training like if you're doing like a different part or if you have like baby hairs that like never want to stay down like this is a great way to train them train them your hair is like wax so when it's hot 
However you like set it, that's how it's gonna stay. I thought you meant my hair specifically is like wax right now. I'm like, no. I know there's a lot of product in it. No, your hair is like wax, you're molding it. So when it's hot, you can form it how you want and when it cools, that's how it's gonna stay. Great. Don't trip. I'm on my TV shows and my face is in it. You need to just also face face, because she has these that are a little bit shorter around her face and then the extensions we always kind of curl these a little bit separately and naturally if you do wear extensions your own hair usually wants to curl up more than the extension hair so these ones we usually just do like a little bend and i'm going to hold it down so it doesn't bounce up too much I feel like my natural texture is very, um, it's wavy and it's coarse. Yeah, you have really coarse hair. My dad's hair is like a Brillo pad. What? <laughs> like, like he showers and then gets out and it's like dry. Really? So I don't have that extreme of hair, but it's pretty coarse. Okay, so now what we're doing, I never, sub I never section off like... The bottom row and then the top row I just kind of brick lay and stagger so we're gonna work in vertical sections up and down probably like an inch wide and an inch high does that make sense yeah what do you, For do you like mean the, an inch from the like an inch tall and an inch wide oh so I see. kind of like a squarish rectangle maybe like kind a of section? pinch of hair a pinch of hair <laughs> An inch. Oh, no, an inch. She's saying, but no. it's the it's the way. It's like okay, it's more like a rectangle. So maybe like a half inch wide and an inch tall, up and down section. Yeah. And you want to keep the iron up and down, and you kind of want to feed the hair through, and you always want to leave out these last few inches, and then when you're letting it out, you drag and slide down. This is what's going to give you more of like a bend than like a curl, especially with short hair. If you come in and do more of like a horizontal section and I curl this, it's going to give you more of that S and it's going to bounce up and shrink and you're going to lose your length. So especially on short hair, if you're not wanting it to look any shorter, you want to do more of a bend. What she's saying is if you don't want to look like uh, Shirley Temple. <laughs> if you want to look youthful. If you want to look youthful no, with soft, soft waves, this is what you need to do. The most important being to leave out the ends yeah. straight. But seal the iron through them so that they're not like frizzy. And then when you get to like the back of the ear here, you can alternate. I never do this when I do my own hair, but it it's always a more makes difficult a difference, to do yeah. yourself. So if you're not gonna alternate the directions, they're more likely to start clumping all together and fall the same way. That's what happens to mine. It yeah. becomes mullety. It's not mullety. It does sometimes when it all flows together. And by taking the vertical sections, you're gonna get skinnier pieces so you get a little more texture that way. Huh. Ali, are you learning? Yeah, I need this. Why don't we make Allie curl her own hair after and see what she wants? <laughs> like the size of the curls really makes a difference. Yeah, because if you take bigger sections, you're not going to get as much like movement and yeah. detail. So that one went forward, so now this one's going to go back. I feel like a lot of people, when they're learning to use a curling iron, curl towards the clamp to where it creases it. Yeah. Oh, like so they get a the, dent? Yeah. Yeah. So that's all about the tension you use and like the angle you go in. If I go in and I just like clamp that, mm -hmm. you have to go in and like feed it in mm -hmm. at an angle so that it's not creating that dent. But I'm saying you you have to make sure you're rolling it towards the barrel, right? Not back towards the oh, clamp. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, is that an is issue that people have? Yes. Like, everyone that I've tried to teach how to curl their hair, when they do it, they do it towards the clamp. Oh. So it's like literally a, yeah, no. a triangle. Another thing you could do is if you have like shorter bits here and they start to curl out in a weird spot, it doesn't really look like it on there, but in person I feel like it's kind of doing it, 
is you can take another one of these little clippies while they're hot and clip it with those little baby hairs so that those will stay more straight down. Yeah, look at the difference in texture on this side and then this side. It's all one. This has movement. And that's the difference between a professional. <laughs> all I am is a professional makeup artist. <laughs> Comments from the peanuts. Do you want me to do your other side? No. <clears throat> <laughs> Also, the one that you're, you're, this is the one, no, this is the one that you can remove. I have the other one that you can remove. Oh, the different size barrels, yeah. Yeah, that one is really good for traveling, too. Uh huh. Get different looks. Looks. What do you want? I want you guys to go over what not to do. Oh, so we do that this on the looks other so side? easy when Tawny does it. Okay. But so I think when you get home, you end up looking colonial founding father. Well, not all of not us. Not all of us end up looking like that. Okay. Maybe let's do some examples of things not to do on this side. Yeah. Okay, so. You'll have to wash your hair anyways. You're gonna, you're gonna butcher it? Well, we're just gonna do things that are simple mistakes for the But you're gonna like fix it, right? Well, we'll fix it after. Maybe not. So like, <laughs> this. Oh. Why wouldn't you do that? Well, see how aggressively I just clamped it? Yeah. Oh. oh. Or is... actually this. This is what you can do. Go this way and then turn this. That's this where is... the mistake no. happens. Mm. <gasps> terrible. It's a terrible thing. Another thing not to do. <laughs> terrible. Terrible thing. Horizontal <laughs> section. Here we go. I think I do. This is probably what you do. This is the colonial. This is more for like an old Hollywood look. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's not what, what you I want. Do. Well, here's the thing. I feel like if you if have you had, long yeah, hair. Yeah, if you had long hair and you wanted something more old, old Hollywood. But let's uh, get the bush. <laughs> or, you know, flatten. Oh. Here she Allie goes. has come in. See, this is what I would do. Why did, ow, you're really pulling. Okay, okay. miss. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the little That's one. That's good. That was a good one, but you hurt her a little bit. Yeah, it felt heavy handed. Didn't feel light and dainty. How so do you do I, it? I want to add this, but how do I, like there's things I'd like to take out. You can't do that. Well, it says for like three of the things, but not the tomatoes. Just put it in the notes. You can't, it won't let me. <clears throat> then you can't take it out. Okay, next we're gonna finish off with Unite. 
Texturiza. This texture spray is Better one of my Orbe. favorites. It's just not matte at like Orbe. It adds a little shine. So whenever you're spraying, I always kind of do like butterfly-ish movements to get in there. Butterfly-ish. And fluff. The hairstylist zhuzh that everyone does, but they don't know why they do it. <laughs> the fingers. That smells good. Yeah, it smells good. It has a little more hold than like a texture spray too. I know, I think that's why I like it. Sometimes I just put some in my hands, put in the bang. In the bang. In the bang. Just run your fingers through. And there she is. Wow. She's beauty and she's grace. <laughs> Just gorgeous. The perfect beach wave for a, do you call this a lob? Yeah, well, it's more, it's not really a lob. Maybe it's a little more mid-length. Mid-length waves brought to you. Texture. By the master. <clears throat> Tawny 901. <laughs>